Welcome back everyone. So I'm going to talk about Scent. I've been poking around on the Suckless website and I found the Scent program and I thought it was pretty cool. It is a, of course, super minimalist uh, way of doing presentations. Pre-Scent Haitians. Um, it's, of course, written in C. The source code is the documentation and it's not a very large or feature-rich program. Now, that's one cool thing about it, and currently I've actually been learning C and poking around at it again. I had a, a stab at it probably around six, seven months ago, and I'm actually getting back into it just because I seem to be heading towards developing command line utilities and doing a lot of lower level stuff. I mean, I use Bash, which is basically just glue for C uh, and C programs. So I've been poking around with C, messing around with it, seeing the kind of cool stuff it can do, and one of the reasons why I want to stick around with it and try it out is that it would mean I could work on and patch and change things in the Suckless software, as well as uh, just make cool utilities that I would use, uh, wicked fast applications, um, terminal-based applications, and who knows, who knows, might even maybe contribute to the Linux kernel one day if, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, so I've been messing around with this. And I haven't done too much customization just because there's not really too much you can do without like having some good knowledge and understanding of seeing the libraries that Suckless is using. So one of my goals over time is to dive into this program that's one of their smaller ones and understand what the libraries are doing, understand what, it, what the code is doing, pick the code apart, understand it, and then begin to change it and add some features. So first of all, let's just look at what I've been working on so far. So by default, uh, Scent is a program that will read a single markdown file as standard in. I think you might actually be able to do multiple files, but I mean at once to like concurrently show presentations, but the example they give is just a presentation written in a single markdown file. Now by default, this file, um, is just a simple, like the blocks of text are separated by uh, blank lines, just like how Markdown typically is, where you don't have lines next to each other if they are in separate paragraphs, you actually have a full blank line between them. So it'll say for each blank line, all the content between it is a paragraph, and each paragraph is on its own slide. And it uses a Markdown syntax, it has UTF-8 support, it can display emojis, it can display special characters, it can do, um, you know, it'll do plain text, it'll scale that text to larger or smaller depending on what will fit on the slides. You can um, escape certain characters. Uh, backslash characters will escape the like, dollar signs or will escape um, the hash symbols. And if you do a hash symbol, it will actually comment out just like a shell script. So this is actually a way of negating what would be on your slides. If you wanted a blank slide, you could just leave a single backslash and that would be interpreted as a blank slide. And uh, if you do the at symbol and actually list out a file name, either in your current directory or it does support relative file paths, it'll actually display a, an image, full color too, transparency supported for PNGs. Um, it'll, I think actually PNGs are the only ones that are supported right now by default but it will actually display these images as a full slide. Uh, it has a transparency test, and yeah, this is just like you can easily, quick, quickly type up all of your content in a markdown file and then toss it into Scent, and it actually will present your presentation. So let's look at what that would look like. So by default, the color scheme is black and white, super simple, and it's just, wow, big word, Scent. But as you go through the slides, and it supports Vim keys, arrow keys, um, enter and mouse clicks, and it will let you do all these things to go forward and backward and move around in your presentation. And you can actually check it out in some of the source code. So let's just uh, look at um, CD sent. So in the source code, we actually ha have <clears throat> a queue and escape, we'll quit. Uh, right, left, return, backspace, all these things will either uh, advance or um, whatever the opposite of advances. Uh, 
in the presentation. And you can just see these, it just ignore the H, the XK, and it's just these, these keys will perform these actions, um, R for reload, etc. So all this is stuff is in the config.h, uh, actual source code documentation and configuration. But as you go through the presentation, you can see, ah, we have images, Yon cat for you. And it actually supports emojis, albeit uh, not color emojis in this. And yes, yeah, so you can escape different characters, have blank slides. Um, and then by default, they have it set so that if you overload your slides with too much text, bad things happen, like it just won't work, or the text will be too like big or small or something, or weird. They basically did this intentionally so that you don't have bad PowerPoint, or PowerPoint, bad presentations, which is exactly the way it should be. It should not be blocks of text on your, on your slides. So this is the default of how Scent comes. I did a small little modification to mine, just messing around with it, seeing how I can make it the way I like it. And the way mine looks is I, of course, made it so it was Grubbox colors and it has that text. I took one of their existing patches for this progress bar on the bottom that just advances as you go through your, um, your slides, your slide deck. And that's all I've done so far. Just two different hex codes in the config.h and then I patched in the uh, progress bar. Now, one cool thing I want to do with this, and because I'm learning C right now and I wanted to get more familiar with it, is I put my current fork of scent on my GitHub, the one with my Grubbox colors and the progress bar. Uh, I want to actually use this whole program as a you know, motivating factor to continue to learn C. I learn best with project-based learning, so I say this is my project. I want to take this program and I want to find out a way where I can open two windows simultaneously to the same presentation, but one of them only opens the actual slide content and the other one opens up a like author's notes. So that way, like the presenter's notes um, slide. So that way you could easily have presentation notes on your laptop while you are displaying to an external screen, the actual presentation. And I was figuring that based on the markdown syntax that they are using already, that I could just do this with the, you know, in leaving a quote. So if you're gonna like, you know, type in some text as a quote in Markdown, it would do this normally, but we could just use that as like the indicator that it is a speaker's note. So this is currently like what I'm gonna aim for, a like, big audacious goal of learn C and figure out how to modify this program so that I could actually achieve that. So that's, you know, probably a larger project than I should bite off right now, given that I still am barely learning the syntax and the basics and God forbid pointers. Uh, so this is like a bigger goal. I'm probably gonna do some smaller intermediate things and some cool things I've found out is that you can actually write and compile C programs and because you know it's an executable and basically with bash we're just calling executable C programs that you can actually just give or put that C program in your path and then call it in your status bar in i3 and or any status bar really and have that executable display or do something in your status bar which I thought was really cool. Just again, the, the highly extensible nature of Linux and you know programming, honestly. So my goal right now is continue learning C and see what I can do with it. <laughs> so if you wanted to grab my current fork of scent, it's on my GitHub right here. Um, I'll probably paste a link in the description or something. Um, but yeah, if you have any tips or advice on how I can approach this, because I currently am still just learning about how to actually do basic things, read, write, append to a file, and basics of pointers, and just the different syntax and things. I mean, I've already done a small stab at it before, uh, so it's kind of just refreshing at the moment and then diving into more advanced content. But at the same time, it's like, uh, systems languages. So yes, I will stop there, but yeah. I am enjoying Scent for its simplicity, but I kind of also want to hack on it just to make some additional features. And there's only like three patches or something right now. Uh, so, hey, could contribute to the Suckless software. So, thanks for watching. And I'm probably not going to have a lot of videos this week. Um, yeah, I got my sewing machine for my leatherworking business. So, I'm kind of geeking out over that about right now. So, uh, stay tuned for more when I can get around to filming some more videos. So, Thanks for watching. Bye.